Welcome to Not Lights Over Arkham. I'm JP, and we are continuing this time Calvin Wright's Run Through the Circle and Dawn campaign, and we are at the In the Clutches of Chaos scenario. Uh, last time uh, we ended up with two experience in the Union and Dissolution, so let's see what changes I did to the deck. So the only change to the player cards is I removed one hiding spot and added I've had it worse level 2 in the deck. Also the puzzle box got removed in the resolution of the last scenario, so that's removed from the deck also. So nothing major and let's go to the scenario. So we are playing in the clutches of chaos and uh, in this scenario the doom doesn't accumulate normally, so we have these uh, breaches uh, in play that we need to remove and when we have enough breaches on the act card we can uh, spawn clues that we need to collect, so we need three clues to advance. Usually uh, you would uh, use the extra location cards to uh, work out where the breaches appear, but as it requires so much uh, shuffling, I'm using a d8, so whenever a breach is uh, forming, I roll a d8 and put it onto that location. I will be counting the locations uh, from up to down, uh, left to right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So uh, in the setup, we generated two breaches for the solo play. So I rolled a 4, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and an 8, which is here. So, just to keep in mind when I'm rolling the dice to place the breaches. When, if we get too many breaches, that will cause a surge, and that way Doom will enter play. So we need to manage those breaches. But that's enough of the scenario, so let's get started. If you like my content, Hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss anything. So, as usual, I've uh, pre-shuffled the decks. So, let's draw our opening hand. So, we get Until End of Time, Miss Doyle, very nice uh, meat cleaver, uh, letter coat, and winging it. So, I think we don't need letter coat and winging it. These are really good at the start, uh, plenty of soul kind of weapon, so we'll mulligan these two. And we get the uh, Cherry Keep Shake and Yattle, very nice. So, I'll shuffle these back here. Uh, I think I will be playing down Miss Doyle as first action, so I'm not shuffling that much right now, because we are shuffling it again when we add the cats into the draw deck. Um, so yeah, first action, let's play down Miss Doyle. And let's shuffle these. And see which cat we get. And we get Hulk. So now we have a really good chance of uh, evading if we need to. And now I'll shuffle the rest these cats into the draw deck and now I'm debating should I play the meat cleaver or yato I think because we have a really good evade enemies won't be that bothersome right at the start so I'll take a resource as my second action and use the three resources for my last action to play down yato so, this like this, and that is my turn. So upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we get a seal, and we gain one resource. So now we have a chance when we need to fight that we can change up hope and seal. So we get a really good fight value. So that is our turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we start the Mythos phase, and instead of uh, putting a Doom here, we will uh, 
generate the breaches. So we do one plus one breaches per investigator. So it's every time two because I'm playing solo. So the first breach will appear in number four. Okay. And the second one will appear in number seven. Oh, and actually, just to make it more easy to know where I can move, I'll add the connectors to the location. So, these upper ones are a bit tricky if you don't have the connectors in play. Uh, that is the generating doom part of the mythos. Uh, we draw our encounter card and it is centuries of secrets. Test will power 5. For each point you fail by discard the top card of encounter deck. If a cursed treasure is discarded by this effect, deal 1 direct damage to your investigator and to each of your ally assets. Okay, well. That is not very nice, so I think we just have to have to take this up to our chin. We don't want to spend on any of these. We're testing five versus, uh, four versus five, so hopefully we don't discard that many cards. So let's see how it goes. And it's a uh, skull. Skull is X where X is the total amount of doom and breaches on your location. Uh, it is a zero, so we fail by one. So we discard one card. And it's a hex, so we don't get any, any damage. So that was, that was lucky. Uh, okay. Uh, so... Uh, what I'm thinking is that we need to go get rid of the uptown breaches. So I think first action I will move to uptown. And uptown has an action uh, force route zero clues uh, action test agility two. For each point you succeed by move one breach from uptown to current act. Okay, uh, we could discard seal, uh, commit seal to the test, so uh, we are testing 4 versus 2, so minus 2 are better to succeed, but we need to succeed at least by 1 to move them. at least 1 breach, so let's see how it goes. It's a 0, so we managed to move both of these breaches to the acts. And we need three breaches so we can do a free trigger ability to place one clue on a random location. And that also works uh, as, as we place the breaches, so I'll just roll the die. So Zeal will get discarded. That was our second action. Uh, last action, I think I will play down until end of time. This is just because we want some direct damage, so so we don't don't die prematurely. Uh, so that is our turn. We go to upkeep. We draw the five of pentacles. Nice, and we gain one resource. Oh yeah, and I paid for one resource of the until end of time. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we go to the middle space and we add the breaches. Uh, first one will come to South Church and the second one will come to uh, Merchant District. So this turn mm, I think we'll head to the South Church. Remove those so we don't get the any incursions. Let's see our encounter card and its practice. 
So put Brack in the plane your threat area. You get minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test you're performing each round. Test willpower three. If you succeed, discard Brack if there is an exhaust which enemy at your location is test is ultimately successful. Okay. Well, uh, first two actions, let's move to the South Church. Uh, South Church is uh, one shroud location with zero clues. Uh, draw the top card of the encounter deck, then move all breaches from South Church to the current act. And action, resign you fight through the night. So if things are getting really bad, we can resign. And I think I'll risk it and just take the encounter card. So last action, I'll do the action on the location. We draw the topmost encounter card and it is Terror Unleashed. If there are no breaches on your location, place one breach on your location. You must take X damage or horror divided as you wish X is the total amount of doom and breaches at your location. Well, I'll just take it as damage. There's two breaches, so we take two damage, and that's that. And now we remove these over here. And as a pre-trigger ability, I'll spend three of these breaches. And we generate one clue. So let's see where it goes. Number one. So it goes to the merchant district. And that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. I'll draw one card. We get a Pyrex, and I get one resource. Uh, okay, yeah, I was just thinking that because I didn't have the Five of Pentacles yet in play, that maybe I rethink this damage and put it for. Let's put it on Miss Doyle. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we start the middle space, uh, we place breaches, so the first one goes to the merchant district, and the second one goes to it's the uptown again, and that is that. So this turn, I think, we'll head to the merchant district and try to get those breaches from there. So, one uh, first action we move to south side, second action we move to Merchant District. So, Merchant District is a true shroud location. I discard the top 5, 10, or 15 cards of your deck. For every 5 cards discarded in this way, move one breach from Merchant District to the current act. Draw each weakness discarded in this way. Well, uh, This could be risky, but well, we just have to have to do it. So I'll opt to discard ten cards. And move to breaches, so let's see what we get. War of protection, winging it, Peter's investor, fire axe, we have to draw the voice of the messenger. I will take one direct damage and one physical uh, trauma. And run for your life, run for your life, looted and killed, steward, reckless, assault, and say your prayers. Okay. But we move these two here, and again. That was our third action. We'll do the pre triggered ability and change these three breaches to a uh, clue. Let's see where it cool ends. It's seven. So it goes to the silver twilight lodge. Okay. So that is our turn. Now that I'm thinking, did I remember to take an encounter card this turn? So we. Might have forgotten that, so I'll just 
take it now and let's see if it changes anything. Okay, so we put demonic piping in the play and just uh, okay, so we have to redo this turn because we have a knight count on us. Okay. Um yeah. I'll just shuffle these 10 cards because I think I messed up the order. Yeah, I hate, hate, hate when this happens, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Sometimes you forget you're doing things a bit differently than usual. So let's uh, back up so we didn't take the damage. And there's still two breaches there. We didn't reveal that. Okay, so first action will evade this. I'll use uh, hope. So we're evading nine versus one. Uh, it's a minus eight. So we <laughs> still succeed because I drew a minus four and it gets uh, doubled with the Knight Count's ability, but luckily we have 5 plus 4, so 9 versus 1 and minus 4, so we just... Oh yeah, so we fail because of that uh, bracket. Oh well, let's try it again uh, without committing anything. Uh, so 4 versus 1, it's an Elder Sign. I won't add any damage, but I'll Manage to evade the night count and we'll move as our last action. So that changed our turn quite a bit. And yeah, upkeep. That being ready, we draw a card and we gain resource. Okay, so we get a water protection, and that is that turn. Now let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and as I was redoing that last turn, there was still one breach here, but yeah, let's see, <clears throat> I'll try to remember the encounter cards better uh, from now on. Uh, let's see where the breaches land, uh, so one, so we have three breaches on Merchant District, and six, so we get one at one, two, three, four, five, six, so Brent Shield gets one. And now let's uh, remember the counter card and it's common initiate. So uh, revelation discarded of two cards of the counter deck and if we run out of the deck something bad happens but we don't. So uh, I think I'll evade get rid of the wrecked and then move to Merchant District so we can clear that next turn. So evade, I'll use hope. Uh, we are evading 9 versus 2. And it's a elder thing, it's a minus 3. If you fail, place one breach on a random location. Uh, we succeed. So this one which is evaded. Second action I'll discard wrecked and third action I'll move up to the merchant district and next turn we can discard a bunch of cards and just hope this uh, th we don't hit this location next round. And the knight gaunt comes here and we go to upkeep, we switch ready, so ready, we draw one card and we gain one resource. That is that turn, so let's go to the next turn. Uh, let's start the middle space, so we add breaches, uh, number two. 
it's a river town and number three so we get hangman's hill well luckily we didn't hit the merchant district so that doesn't get blown up so encounter card it's a witness of chaos fewest breeds as uh, hunter after witness of chaos and there's a location place one breed on location so we have uh, breaches on nearly all of the locations except Southside and South Church. Uh, so I think I'll spawn this witch to South Church and she places one breach there. First action, uh, I think I'll play down five of pentacles. Second action, I play down fire axe and last action I will discard 15 cards so nearly all of our deck so uh, we discard fire axe run for life lieutenant wilson stewart reckless assault winging it Say your prayers, run for life, and now we get the voice of the messenger. So now we take one damage and one mental, uh, I'm like, one physical resource, uh, letter code, sharp vision times two, winging it, uh, the black book, trial by fire, and luckily, well, unluckily, we got the mob enforcer because now we have to draw him too. And the mob enforcer is engaged with us, so um, yeah, so that was my third action. But as we get this over here, oh yeah, and this would have not spawned yet. So now we spend three. Let's see where the clue lands. So, uh, it lands on the Silver Twilight Watch, so didn't change, luckily, anything. Okay, uh, that's our investigation phase. Uh, let's see, uh, so, enemy phase, uh, witness chaos as hunter. So, after witness chaos enters location, there's one breach location, so here and places one breach here and this knight gun comes here engages us and uh, the mob enforcer and I'll switch this up a bit so knight gun and the mob enforcer both hit me uh, I will take the horror on myself and I will also take the damage and the other damage goes to Yoto okay so that's the enemy phase. We go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get ogre, and we gain one resource. So I think next turn we need to start killing these enemies. Oh, I might evade the knight can't kill not of the mob enforcer, and okay, then the witch comes. So I think. We're, we're a bit stuck with the enemies at the moment, but let's see how it goes. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we generate breaches. Uh, the first one comes to Silver Twilight Lodge. Second one comes to Merchant District. And Encounter Card is mm, Chaos Manifest. Test Willpower 3. Place one breach on X different random location where X is the amount by which you failed. So I'm testing uh, 5 versus 3, so minus 2 over there. Uh, it's a minus 2, so we succeed. And we don't have to place any more breaches. Investigation phase. Uh, I think I'll for now evade. The mob enforcer. I'll use ogre. I'm in hope. 
I'm debating uh, 10, uh, 11 versus 3. Uh, actually, I'll commit the ogre to the test too, because I want to use Yato. And it's a minus 4, so we succeed by tons. So the mob is for sure is evaded. Uh, second action, I'll hit the night hunting night count. I'll pay one resource, uh, so I'm hitting eight versus three. I'll I think I'll use Yotol on the second hit uh, minus three, so we hit and do two damage. And last action, we'll hit again. Now I'll use Yotol. So we add one from the discard, so we're hitting seven versus three. And it's a skull, and total amount of doom and breaches on your location which is one. So we hit and kill off the night ones. So that is our investigation phase. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Uh, south, uh, this uh, witch, witness of chaos moves in and engages us, and we add a breach. Uh, we run out of. I'll use these tokens as breaches as well. Okay, and it hits us for one damage and one horror. I'll take the horror on myself, and the damage goes on to the end of time. We go to upkeep, uh, we gain one card, it's another meat cleaver, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add more breaches in the middle space. We add one on to uptown. And second one goes to south side. We are really <laughs> getting stuck with these enemies and we can't handle with the breaches that well. Well, we got the Diabolic Voices. Test will about 3 for each point. You fail by discard one random card from your hand. For each card you cannot discard, take one horror for one damage. And this test gets plus one difficulty for each Diabolic Voices. And we have found um, so it's a will about 3 test. Uh, we'll test it I think I'll commit one card. I'll commit uh, Meat Cleaver. So we're testing 7 versus 3. Ah, minus 3. So we pass, so nothing happens. And we go to the investigation phase. I think I'll just try to kill off the witch. First action. I'll hit the witch. Uh, 8 versus 4. It's a minus 3, so we hit. Deal 2 damage onto the witch. Second action. Uh, we'll hit the witch again. I only have willpower in hand, so hopefully this is. We're only up by two. I think I'll need to commit this for the protection to go up, up by four, uh, three. So we're hitting uh, uh, seven versus four, so minus three or better. It's a zero, so we managed to kill off this switch, and it's a victory one enemy, so we place it into the victory display. 
over here so we don't mess it up. Last action. Uh, I think we'll have to debate the mob enforcer again. Uh, it's minus two, but still we debate it by tons. So it gets evaded. And that is our turn. Enemy base. Uh, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. He's ready. We get another Yakul. And we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And we add more breaches, so hopefully we're not getting a ton of searches this, this turn before we can react to it. So four, we get one and up turn. It's one away from uh, blowing up and one in Twilight Lodge. Okay. Encounter card is uh, toil and trouble, peril. So I think the first choice is to do the incursion. So I think we will resolve the power treachery. So it is chaos manifest. It is uh, willpower 3 test, place one breach on x different random location where x is the amount of y you failed by. Uh, I'll commit meat cleaver to the test. I'm testing 7 versus 3, so minus 4 or better. It's a minus 2, so nothing happens. Okay, um, oh yeah, Mob Enforcer is again on us, and uh, this turn, I really think we need to start uh, removing some of the breaches to get this uh, thing on back under control, uh, we don't have time to kill of the mob enforcer this turn, so I'll evade, I'll use hope, uh, we're evading the 11 versus 3, it is minus 2, so we evade, and I grab the clue while I'm here, I think I'll grab the clue, so investigate. Uh, no, let's do it safely. Uh, we'll move here. And we'll test the agility. Uh, so we're testing six versus two. Uh, we get a uh, minus three. So we managed to get one breach of not that good. Well, it is what it is. So, enemy base, nothing happens, upkeep, uh, mob enforcer ready. Uh, we draw one card, hope ready is also, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, let's do the breaches in the middle space, so we get one in uptown, okay. And we get one in South Church. So luckily no incursions yet. Uh, encounter card is uh, on Wings of Darkness, test agility 4. If you fail, take one damage and one more, then disengage from each non night god enemy. enemy. With you and move to the central location. The only central location is south side, but 
think I'm just testing uh, six versus four. It's uh, zero, so we pass. So nothing bad happens. First action. Mm, I'll test the agility test here again. So testing. I could play Peter, so I'll take one resource, play Peter and test. I think I'll do that. So we get one resource, uh, we play Peter Sylvester. And then we'll test this test here. Now testing 7 versus 2, so minus 5 or feather. It's a sculpt, so it's a minus 3. Uh, so 5 versus 7, so we get 2 breaches off, and I'll convert them into a clue token. And let's see where the clue lands, and it lands on the south side. And that is our investigation phase, enemy phase, uh, the mobile force around here, engages us and hits us for one damage. Uh, I think uh, we can kill off Yattle, because we have another Yattle in hand. So let's kill off Yattle. And... That's the enemy phase, upkeep, we draw a card, we get a lucky, and we gain one resource. Okay. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, we do the mythospace breaches. We get one in the south side. So, there are three there now. And we get one in merchant district. Okay, so we have three clues on the table. I think we need to rush and go get those clues. So first action, I will evade the mob enforcer again. Uh, testing 12 versus 3. It's a minus 3. So the mob enforcer is yet again evaded. Uh, Second action, let's move to the Merchant District, and last action, investigate there. I'm investigating 6 versus 2. It's a minus 2, so we need to grab that clue over there. That is my turn, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, uh, the mobile forcer and hope readies. We draw one card, and it's a hiding spot, which will help us go to south side next turn, and we gain one resource. Okay. And I think I forgot to take this card again. Sorry about that. So, Priestess of the Coven. And we have to back up again. So, I think now that this is uh, evade 5, so we would have evaded that first. Second action, evade the mob enforcer, uh, 7 vs 3, plus 1, let's put the clue back and uh, we'll move there. Yeah, so that, because the mythospace works a bit different, it causes me to forget, forget to draw the uh, count card, but it is what it is, we'll try to again remember better next time. So, yeah. This ready is. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So let's do the breaches. Uh, there's a high possibility now to get an incursion. So we put one on the river town, and the second one goes to river town. So luckily, again, we avoided this, but there is a chain reaction bound to happen soon. Uh, let's 
draw our encounter card, we get the Coven Initiate. It spawns engage with us, we discard two cards and we don't run out of the deck yet, luckily. First action, I will evade this Coven Initiate. Yeah, it's evaded. Second action, uh, investigate. Yeah, I, I missed this connection block here, so I could move there at this investigation. So, investigate minus two, we get this clue finally here. And last action, I will move over to River Town. So it's a three shroud location. Action choose and discard a card from your hand. Move one breach for River Town to the current act, plus one additional breach for each intellect icon on that card. Okay. So that's the investigation phase. Uh, enemy phase the map enforcer hunt here. No other hunters. Uh, that's the enemy phase, upkeep, these ready, we gain one card, we get the ward of protection, and we get one resource. Okay, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Okay, and uh, let's get the breaches, eight, still avoiding up. <laughs> massive uh, chain reaction and one not anymore so uh, this blows up we uh, let's see I'll check the incursion rule so first, we remove all breaches of that location. Second, place one doom on that location. Finally, place one breach on each of connecting location. This can chain react and cause additional incursions to occur. So be uh, beware. So we remove these. We place one doom. Then we place one here, one here. These get removed. We place one doom. And then these get removed. <laughs> we place one doom. Oh dear. Uh, so we still need to resolve these two. Then uh, we resolve this one. So we place one here, uh, one here, one here, one here. Then this uh, we place one here, one here, and it blows up. Here it blows up. Then we need to resolve these two. So we place one here, uh, one here, one here, then this one, one here. Okay, so in a matter of seconds, we uh, got uh, five doom of seven. So, yeah, that just happened. So, nothing much we could have done to avoid that. It was inevitable. Uh, so, encounter card is. And I may have miss missed one doom actually now that I see I missed. Mm, I think I missed one here. Okay, so we get evil past. Uh, it's a. Uh, Put evil past into play in your threat area. If there are no copies, uh, it can search. But uh, when the counter deck runs out, of course, take two horror and test willpower three. If you succeed, discard this. Okay. Um, so first action. Uh, actually, free action. Uh, we play hiding spot on to the south side. Uh, first action, we move to south side and investigate second action. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I was thinking of removing the breaches here, but yeah, <laughs> that happened. So nothing much there to remove. And Elder Sign. Mm, I think I will remove one damage from myself. We get this blue. Last action, let's move to Friend Shield. And that is my turn. Enemy phase. Uh, the Mob Enforcer will here and at the end of the enemy phase if a ready enemy is at the location discard hiding spot so we discard the hiding spot and that is the enemy phase up deep we draw a card we get trial by fire and we gain one resource and that is that turn so let's go to the next turn. Okay, uh, so the game may end now if we get really unlucky with the breaches. So good luck to us. The first one goes to number five. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's it's over. So we do out. So uh, we remove those here, and then we add. We just uh, one here, one here, one here, here, and the last one here. But it's full, so we add the seventh room, and then it breaches, and this also breaches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, unlucky there. Uh, so we advance the agenda. The final incantation. The stars vanish in the night sky, and as the maw of the void swallows the horizon, the muffled beating of maddening drums and the thin wine of otherworldly flutes breathe through the emptiness. Check campaign mode. Annette Mason is possessed by evil. Resolution 3. And resolution 3. Uh, I won't bother to read the plot text from here, but in your campaign log, record Doom draws ever, ever closer. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. We proceed to interlude four twists of fate. So, in your campaign log, record the path points before you. Next to this, record a number of tally marks based on the conditions below. Then proceed to twist of fate two. Uh, we didn't accept our fate, so we don't get the tally mark from that. Then uh, we didn't ask for assistance. We record two tally marks. Then we add a minus four into the bag. We have uh, three or more mementos listed, so. Uh, uh, we have three to five mementos listed, so we add one tally mark from that. So we have three tally marks. Uh, we have the black book, so we add one tally mark from that. If Doom draws ever closer, Azatot's more begins to open, record two tally marks. So then we go to Twist of Fate 2. So basically, what happens? Uh, a winged creature lands near us, and we as we've noticed that uh, Azatot is beginning to awaken, we ride this nightmare beast to the stars and try to go get Azatot back to sleep. So that will happen in before the Black Throne. So yeah, uh, that was in the Clutches of Chaos. We really uh, got bucked down with enemies and the 
breed just got really out of hand in the mid mid game so that that was our doom uh, downfall from there but still uh, let's see how how calvin does in the before the black throne it is also a really challenging scenario but hopefully we can pull out the campaign win in that one because the rest of the campaign has not done that well but yeah thanks for watching and until next time